Experience has kind of shown that there will be years when you plant right before rain or you plant unexpected drain comes up or maybe you plant into a crappy seed bed and you have some germination issues. It's kind of been our experience when in doubt, replant. I have had several times where I have had to replant corn and I think every time that I have been faced with a decision of whether to replant or not, if I have decided to, to replant, I was glad I did and if I decided not to, I wished I would have. Replanting is, is a really tough decision to make because <clears throat> the problem is, is by the time you get to the place where you decide whether you want to replant, it's really late in the season. The problem is if you're planting late to start out with, like mid-May, you know, you're into June before you know that you don't have a good stand. So then you have to decide your crop is going to be really held back because you planted it so late because you got to go out and tear up what's there and then plant it and it's going to be a, a late a late bloomer so, so to speak. So now it's now you're really late and then you have to scramble around to try and find you know low earlier maturity corn varieties you know which may mean going to Albert Lee or you know something like that. It's kind of an emotional state that once you've planted that seed you really don't want to go and start over. Well sometimes wiping the slate clean is just a it's just necessary and sometimes the best option. It really hurts to, to replant, to tear up a stand. You always think that, okay, there's gonna be a few more come, you know, but it just looks worse every day. Yeah, I've, I've replanted before. Um, uh, I've, I've had where I've had bugs get in to the, to the, the seed of the corn to where I had to replant a whole field. Um, Basically, you're just looking at your, your you're going to be counting population and uh, figure out what your plant population is for that certain area or that field. And if it's below your uh, your population threshold that you're happy with, then you will more than likely replant. If you have enough uh, population there to have it work out so you can keep it the way it is that's that's the decision you you just got to look at it and and see and do some figuring there is some publications that show percentage of stand on planting date versus corresponding yield which is a good guide as well and then you've of course got your your costs for putting it in which uh tearing it up and putting it in again replanting there are uh, higher. If you're thinking about organic, you're thinking about weeds, you really need a good stand to be able to have decent weed control. It's tricky, but uh, if you have a poor stand, especially in corn, you're going to have weeds. Soybeans, to be honest, I've, I typically, unless, unless there's no soybeans there, I, I probably won't go out and replant soybeans. Soybeans are a lot better at compensating. They'll they'll smother out the weeds. But boy, if there's a if there's a foot or two gap in that corn row, something's going to grow there. If you don't have a good solid even stand, your weed control and everything else is just going to be that much harder because you're going to have gaps where weeds are going to come. It's going to be harder to hoe, harder to cultivate. And uh, I can't say that I'm losing a lot of yield by planting as late as I am. Um, I've had over 200 bushel corn on most of my fields the last few years. I don't think it's hurting me that much, as much as what you know everybody thinks. You know, but that's just opinion. That hasn't been documented. As a seed dealer, we often look at some, we get a look at a lot of fields typically every year. And every year we'll have a couple farmers with fields where something went wrong. Could be insects, could be weeds, could be weather, could be a number, any number of factors. And when in doubt, replant. Uh, I don't know if we've ever had a customer wish they hadn't replanted. Um, we've had some guys plant, replant half the field, leave half the field kind of as a test. And I believe every time that I can think of, they've wished they just would have started over. I don't hesitate to replant if it's called for.
Eric also says that it may not have to be a whole field that you make a decision on, just a portion of a field, and it could mean just taking out the crop and preventing weeds from going to seed with an eye to future weed control. Don't be afraid to tear up. If you have a disaster part of a field, say you have a wet spot or you have a real thick weed patch, don't be afraid to tear up that weed patch that you've got to think long term. If and a lot of times sacrificing a few acres of very low yielding weedy crops long term is a much better solution than contributing a gazillion weed seeds for 20 bushel an acre soybeans. That you have to be willing sometimes to sacrifice some of those bad poor areas and think long term about if I let this weed patch go to seed how many years in the future I'm going to be fighting those weed seeds.